Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of AP Economics. In the last video, we talked about price ceilings. In this video, we're going to go over the concept of a price floor. An effective price floor occurs when the government sets a legal minimum price above market equilibrium. The goal is to help out producers with low incomes. Now, this might sound like a good idea. However, it leads to misallocation of resources. It will lead to a market surplus. The quantity supplied will be greater than the quantity demanded. Here is a market in equilibrium, where supply is equal to demand at price P and quantity Q. When the government establishes a price floor, the price is not allowed to go below this point. This means that the quantity supplied will be greater than the quantity demanded. We'll have a surplus. A price floor will also change the amount of consumer and producer surplus in a market. Here's the consumer surplus as a result of the price floor, the small green triangle. The consumer surplus before the price floor would have been this larger triangle. The producer surplus is the area that you see over here in pink. Before the price floor, the area of producer surplus would be above the supply curve and under the initial market price. A price floor will also create deadweight loss. That is this purple triangle. Deadweight loss represents the inefficiency that resulted from this price control. You should be able to identify where the market surplus would occur, the deadweight loss, the new consumer surplus, and the producer surplus from a price floor. You should also be able to compare the consumer and producer surpluses before the price floor to after the price floor. Well, that wraps up this Noble Review session on price floors. Thank you for watching, and good luck!